You know how they say, don't uh, judge book by its cover? Well, that doesn't apply to app stores. Over 60% of your visitors will refuse to download your application if they don't get attracted by uh, these uh, three things. Application name, rating, and uh, app uh, screenshots. Creating uh, engaging uh, screenshots uh, can be challenging, especially if you are not a good UI designer. Every new feature that you introduce in your application requires you to modify your existing screenshots and even add new ones. But designing your application screenshots is not the only thing that you should worry about. You also need to follow certain guidelines. Like for example, both the app and the Play Store have their own requirements when it comes to a screenshot sizes for various different devices like smartphones, tablets, and even smartwatches. App Screens platform is here to help you with even more than that. Here is what kind of features they have to offer. Multi-store support, which means that they support most of the major app stores, including the App Store and the Play Store. Then there is the automatic screenshot upload. This feature is awesome, by the way, because it allows you to publish your screenshots with one click on both the Play and App Store. They have also integrated the AI in this platform so that it can generate you a text for your screenshots if you have already published your application. Your screenshots will automatically resize to fit each and every device that you have out there, whether that be a smartphone or a tablet. There is even a localization feature that allows you to translate your screenshot text into multiple different languages of your choice. That way, people from different countries can read your app screenshots on their native language, which is really helpful. They offer a library of professional templates that you can choose from. Each and every template in this library is fully customizable. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. Okay, so we are officially in the app screens website. Uh, I'm going to open up uh, my account or my uh, projects from here. At the moment, uh, I don't have uh, any project, but uh, let's create one from scratch. So click this uh, new project uh, button, right? And we have uh, multiple options uh, to choose from. So we can either uh, start from scratch, we can uh, copy already made a uh, template, or we can even use the AI to automatically generate the text for our screenshots based uh, on the application that we have published on uh, either App Store or the Play Store. I will choose this uh, option right here, and then I'm going to search for uh, some kind of application from the App Store. For example, I will choose maybe uh, Instagram. But if you have your own application, you should definitely search for it uh, right here. So we can choose either from the Play Store or the App Store. In this case, we can choose either one of them, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to select that, and we're going to wait until the, the AI uh, grabs or uh, searches for different kind of a description for that application. And based on that description, it will generate um, some kind of uh, text titles for our screenshots, which you're going to see right now. Let's just wait to see uh, when it's finished, okay. So it's uh, done. We can now click uh, Select Template. And there we go. So this is the library which we can uh, uh, choose from. We have some kind of uh, categories uh, as well. We can choose either uh, Dark, uh, Gradient, and so on. Let's just uh, scroll down below to see uh, what kind of uh, uh, templates we can use. So those are really professionally designed uh, screenshots for your application and uh, they look uh, really awesome. Uh, for example, I'm going to choose maybe this one. So uh, it's called Softly So Bold. So let's select this template. So the AI is now um, the, is using that uh, generated text from the Instagram application to uh, place it inside our uh, selected template. So you will see about that. Okay, so uh, now you can uh, notice that uh, the title of those uh, screenshots is uh, fully adapted from our uh, Instagram application that we have chose in the step earlier. Of course, uh, each and every element uh, in those uh, screenshots is uh, fully customizable, so we can uh, modify this uh, text which was uh, generated, but nevertheless, let's just uh, click uh, Save and uh, Edit. Uh, we can give a name to this um, uh, project, so... Uh, I'm going to skip all of that for now, but of course you can choose here uh, either a portrait or a landscape orientation for your screenshots. Uh, we have the output sizes, so this uh, part is really important. This is the place where you actually define uh, uh, what kind of uh, device uh, frames you want to use for those screenshots. So by default it selected the Android phone and the Android tablets, as well as the iOS phones and the iOS tablets with uh, 13 inches, right? 
So you have various different uh, options to choose here. So you have even uh, an option to check for the iOS uh, Apple Watch uh, and um, Apple TV. We can also customize and uh, add our own uh, sizes here as well. For now, I'll just uh, choose maybe uh, those uh, four. Uh, then we have the languages option. So here we can specify um, if we want to uh, translate uh, our screenshots. So by default, uh, only English is uh, here uh, specified, but we can uh, even include some other different uh, language as well. For example, we can export our screenshots for maybe, let's say, uh, Spanish. We can select uh, Spanish. We can choose uh, many other different languages, but for now, let's just uh, uh, go with that. And we have even some uh, advanced uh, options here to choose uh, how many screenshots uh, we need uh, in this case. So 10 or even 8 is uh, just fine in our case. I'm going to click now uh, Update and uh, wait until our project is uh, fully loaded so that we can customize our screenshot. So this is uh, some kind of um, a screenshot uh, editor and here we have a bunch of different uh, options that we can use to modify and uh, work with our uh, screenshot design. So as you can see, whenever we hover over on one of those elements, uh, they will be marked with this um, dashed uh, box, which means that they are fully customizable. So those uh, text uh, elements were uh, automatically generated by the AI, and we can change them uh, by selecting them from here and then uh, changing here uh, from this little box right there. We can uh, modify uh, the font uh, families. Uh, we can uh, select one of those uh, font families from this uh, library as well. Then we have um, the text uh, size, so it's always recommend to, uh, to select this uh, mesh to smallest title size because uh, that way the app uh, screens will uh, automatically size your text to fit the available space. So for example, let's say that we want to add here uh, some more text. This is just an example. You will see how this uh, text will uh, automatically uh, decrease, uh, it will decrease its overall font size to fit in this box, okay? So that's also one uh, important thing here to note. So based on the available space, the, the font size will uh, automatically uh, shrink or uh, scale. Here we have an option to, of course, um, uh, change now this uh, other element on the screenshot. So in this case, we have a device frame. We can uh, change that dynamic frame to a flat device uh, mockup. We can choose a 3D device uh, mockup uh, on the right side. We have on the left side as well. We can even choose the color of this uh, device frame, for example, a uh, color of uh, gold, so it looks really nice. We also have this uh, image element that we can even uh, uh, modify by ourselves. We can uh, delete it if we don't like it, and we can uh, modify or specify here a new image for this uh, element right there. We can apply uh, the shadow, we can uh, rotate this uh, whole uh, device, or uh, as you can see right here, we can click the rotate, and then we can uh, increase or decrease the the rotational angle right here, so we can just uh, so we can just uh, maybe set it to number ten, so some kind of a smaller value, right? We can maybe change that to uh, seven or eight or even uh, something like that. So that's also an option. Let's just reset it to a zero. Now you have already noticed that uh, on the top right corner we have a language preview. So uh, we also have the device preview as well. So we can choose uh, how our uh, screenshot will look like on a different devices. So um, we can, for example, select the iOS uh, iPad uh, 13. As you can see, that uh, screenshot uh, and this uh, whole uh, text will automatically adapt to those uh, sizes. Uh, so we can preview how our screenshot will look like on various different devices that we have already chose. We also have the language feature. So we have selected the Spanish uh, to be the second language of our screenshots, and we can uh, just open it up. So by default, as you can see, this uh, text will be uh, automatically translated uh, for our selected language, and we can export uh, both the Spanish and the uh, English version. We have an option here to upload uh, our own uh, screenshot. So, as you can see here, we have a tab for each and every screenshot uh, which is available right here. And we have an option to uh, import the global screenshot, which can be uh, automatically resized to all of those uh, devices down below. But but they say that uh, it's a more recommended approach to actually upload those the same dimensions that they are recommending from here. So when you are importing your uh, screenshots, I advise you to, to use those the uh, same dimensions that you can uh, see right there. You even have an option to upload uh, your uh, screenshots in a bulk and then just uh, import them uh, here with uh, one click. Let me just close it for now. When we select one of those uh, screenshots uh, from here, uh, we have this uh, layout option as well, which is uh, 
apply the globally on this uh, whole uh, screenshot layer, right? So we can change the layout, we can um, customize other different um, template screenshots if we want to. So that's another option. Um, we also have an option to edit this layout, so let's just click the edit. And here we can see that um, there is also available a feature to add the multiple layers uh, on top of this uh, whole uh, screenshot. So we can either uh, drag the title or other different elements which are available right here. So that's also uh, possible too. This is more uh, some kind of uh, advanced uh, layout editing feature that you can uh, use as well. So here for the background, we can also try to, uh, for example, add some kind of a gradient color uh, that we can choose from uh, there by ourselves. We can choose a linear uh, gradient. Yes, we can also save the progress, or we don't, so it's up to you. We also have the presets uh, button, where we can check out uh, other different um, um, gradient colors that we can uh, use uh, out of the box. So we can explore and see how will they look like uh, in uh, each and every screenshot. So for example, if we make uh, some change uh, on this uh, specific screenshot, and we decide that we want to apply the same uh, background color of uh, or other different styles to all other different uh, screenshots here, we can easily do that by uh, selecting this uh, copy settings button. And from there we can choose uh, on which uh, screenshots we want to apply that, uh, that style or copy that style. So here it says that we want to copy uh, our uh, screenshot settings from the screenshot 2 to all other different screenshots and we can choose uh, what kind of a settings we want to copy. In this case I want to select only the background settings, so let's click uh, copy. And basically that uh, same style uh, will be immediately applied here on each and every screenshot. So it's really quite a convenient feature. Plus there are a ton of different uh, options that you can actually use in this uh, editor right here. I will uh, skip that for now, but feel free to uh, explore that on your own. And the last uh, thing which I want to show you here is that you can actually export now this uh, whole design uh, very easily. So there are multiple options when it comes to uh, exporting. So you can also, of course, first preview and see how your uh, screenshots look like on uh, different devices. So we have a uh, iOS uh, iPhones uh, 6.9 inches. We have a uh, iOS uh, iPad, and we have uh, Android phones, uh, Android tablets. We can also see the, the Spanish localization as well, so the preview option is really helpful. Then we have an um, option to download uh, all those resources uh, as a zip file, so we can select uh, both the uh, English and the uh, Spanish localization option. And then with uh, one click we can download uh, all those resources. Now the second option here is uh, even more convenient, so it allows you to upload those uh, screenshots directly to your App Store and the Play Store. From here you can select all your uh, uh, template uh, sizes, then the export the languages, and then you can proceed by uh, clicking this button. By the way, they offer a comprehensive documentation where you can see and actually learn uh, how you can connect uh, your uh, both uh, App Store and the Play Store to, to be able to uh, push those uh, screenshots with one click. So I will be sure to link this documentation down in the video description, as well as the, the link to this official website, so you can check that out. Anyhow, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, but only if you find it helpful. And uh, thank you for watching.